What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 21 of On Shape. What we're going to do here is we're going to make our very first moving animation mate. What we're going to do is we're going to make the top and the bottom uh, of our box and then we're going to talk a little bit and unpack those mate constraints and what we can do with them and how they work. So I'm going to hit stop on this and let's click on the plus sign and let's create our new part. Let's create our bottom part. So I'm going to click on sketch this top plane, hit view normal two, and we should be able to make this rectangle piece pretty quickly. I'm just gonna do a four inch by four inch square. Hit the green check mark, and we're looking good. Let's go ahead and extrude this out to two inches. That way when I put my two halves together, it makes a, a nice four inch cube. Okay, like what I usually do is go ahead and make these other planes invisible. That way they're not in my, own, in my way when I'm working. And let's go ahead and shell this box out. That thickness, let's go with quarter inch thickness. That way it looks a little bit better. And that's it. Since my bottom piece and my top piece are mirrors of each other, I'm just gonna pull this into the assembly environment twice, throw in our mate and call it done. So I hit the plus sign, let's create assembly, and let's insert that box part we just made. So right here, click on it once, allows me to drop it in, click on it twice, allows me to drop it in for a second time, hit the green check mark, and we are good. So what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm gonna try to get these lined up the best I can uh, to where they're side by side with each other, and that looks okay. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about working planes and then I'm going to call it the Pac-Man symbol. So when you are putting in your mate constraints, the, what you'll see is they show this little Pac-Man symbol and then you'll see the third direction. So the Pac-Man symbol, symbol is what plane are you working in and that third direction is what is perpendicular or normal to that work plane you're on. And so what I imagine some students are going to do is they're going to say, okay, I want to click on Revolute, so I want you know, this edge to spin with, you know, this edge right here. And like, oh, they look butted up, things are looking good, but when they hit click play, it's not exactly spinning in the direction that we'd want it to or we'd expect. And so I imagine some students are gonna click buttons and try to get this to work. Oh, that's not working, so let's go back. Okay, what happens if I reorient the axis? Okay, that's still not working. And the reason is, is that we've chosen the wrong working planes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this away. And what I want is I want my working plane to be uh, the plane in which I revolute around. So if I do this, if I'm on here and I click on this, it's going to spin on the box rather than with the box. However, if I click a hold on over here and I hover, we see that my working plane has changed directions and I can use this to click the correct working plane when choosing my constraints. And so what we can see now is that Pac-Man symbol is now perpendicular, rather pick perpendicular to this plane rather than with or parallel to this plane. So that first one's looking good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hover over to the second one. I know I want this part right here, and we're gonna mosey our way down. We got our plane picked, and, oh, that didn't work. Let's try again. Oh, too much. Gonna follow that line. There we go. Now let's see how this works. Okay, so the revolute command goes one full revolution. We're almost done. The next thing we're gonna do is click on the limits, because we don't want our box to go through the other half of the box, we want it to touch. So the minimum where it's gonna start out is zero degrees, and we can see that as that zero right here. And the maximum it's gonna to go to is 180 degrees. We're gonna click on solve, and that'll update the settings we just put in, and then we're gonna click on play. And so what this will do now is it'll start at zero, and then it'll go to 180, and then stop. Click the green check mark, and we are done. However, how do we get our animations to happen? By default, and at least it seems like on my computer, is the animate or the features that we've, uh, we've mated together 
are invisible. So I'm going to go ahead and click and make that visible and we see this little revolute symbol pop up. If we right click that, we can animate the model, uh, but not only can animate, we can also animate the speed at which it happens. So by default, it's 300 steps. Uh, and that's kind of a, a computer thing about how, when it, what steps does you want the system to take uh, before it moves on to the next angle or the next distance. And so if we bump this number down to 10, uh, and I just like this to, to really uh, show students how steps work, is that what is the step, the next step it's going to take that angle manager. So it's going to go 0 to 10 now. And so if I hit play, it'll, uh, it'll uh, open and close really fast. And I think this is just looks too funny. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've made our first animation model. We've made our box close and open quite aggressively. And uh, everything looks wonderful. Getting those working planes figured out can be a little difficult. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to throw them down in the, in the comment section. Uh, just let me know if you need help with anything or what you'd like to see a video on next. You guys are awesome. Like I said, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. See ya.